Properly serviced flamethrower can make the difference between success or failure of a mission. To reach and maintain its maximum effective range, the portable flamethrower must be properly pressure charged. To charge the pressure tank of the M2A1-7 flamethrower, either a power-driven compressor or commercial compressed gas cylinders may be used. The M1A1 power-driven reciprocating compressor is designed specifically for pressurizing portable flamethrowers. Commercial compressed gas cylinders, although they're not as a rule readily available in the field, are charged with either air or nitrogen only, never oxygen. With the valve cap on to protect the valve, the cylinders are laid down and chocked to prevent rolling. If standing, cylinders should be secured to prevent falling. To pressurize the flamethrower with bottled gas, after the valve caps have been removed, attach the T-connector to the cylinder valve by the adapter nut. This connector is a component of the portable flamethrower kit. Tighten the adapter nut with a wrench. Then make sure all filling line valves are closed. Check the charging lines for cracks in the hose and foreign matter in the filling line fittings. The charging line fitting is then connected to the check valve on the pressure tank of the portable flamethrower. There are two ways of charging the pressure tank. It may be removed from the flamethrower and charged separately, or charged as part of the fuel and pressure unit. Now close the charging line bleeder valve and the pressure tank valve. When charging the pressure tank as part of the unit, open the fuel tank bleeder valve. With the filling line valves closed, Open each of the cylinder valves in turn to check the pressure within the cylinder. Starting with the cylinder under the lowest pressure, in this case, cylinder number one, open the filling line valve to permit the gas from the cylinder to flow through the manifold to the pressure tanks. You can hear the gas flow. When the gas flow ceases, close the filling line valve. To charge the next pressure tank, open the filling line valve on the cylinder with the next higher pressure, in this case, cylinder number two, and charge from the cylinder in the same manner. Charging continues until the pressure tanks are sufficiently pressurized. The pressure in any of the pressure tanks can be determined at any stage by reading the pressure gauge on the cylinder with the filling line valve open. To be properly charged, the tank should be pressurized until the gauge reads between 1,700 to 2,100 pounds per square inch. When the desired pressure is reached, close all filling line valves tightly. Then open the bleeder valve on the charging line and disconnect the charging line from the pressure tanks. 
The power-driven compressor consists of a gasoline engine which drives a four-cylinder, three-stage compressor. It is skid-mounted and can pressurize commercial compressed gas cylinders as well as portable flamethrower pressure tanks. To charge the pressure tanks by themselves, place them in the bottle support rack on the compressor. Position the threaded nipple in the hammer lug nut, turn the nut counterclockwise until it is tight and tap it to ensure tightness. To charge other pressure tanks, attach to the fuel and pressure unit. Attach a charging line assembly to the hammer lug nut and tighten. The other end of the charging line is connected to the pressure tank check valve on the unit. When you have checked to make sure that the pressure tank and bleeder valves are closed and the fuel tank valves are open, you are ready for pressure charging. Start the engine and let it run satisfactorily for a few minutes with the manifold intake valve open. Then close the bleeder valves on the compressor and allow it to come up to load. When the discharge pressure registers between 1,700 and 2,100 pounds per square inch, the pressure tanks are sufficiently charged. Open the bleeder valves on the manifold and disconnect the pressure tanks. To check the pressure on a pressure tank, a pressure tank gauge found in the service kit is threaded into the check valve. Observe these safety precautions. Use proper gases, air or nitrogen only, never oxygen. Inspect all containers, fittings, and charging lines to ensure that they're in good condition. Handle and store all cylinders and flamethrowers carefully. Do not attempt to use compressed gases unless trained to do so. Do not tamper with safety devices. They are there for your protection. Make sure pressure tank valves are protected and closed. Know the compressor you're using. Closely observe the pressure gauges. Remember, between 1,700 and 2,100 pounds per square inch is required. Use only authorized parts, manufactured or specified for the particular operation. Keep all equipment clean and in good operating condition. Properly maintained and clean equipment is the mark of a good soldier.